Hey, how's it going, guys? My name is Kenneth Dennis. Welcome to the channel. And for today's topic, what we're going to be speaking about is how do you market during tax season to make sure you're able to acquire customers and grow and scale your own tax or accounting firm. But on this video, this is going to be a little bit different because what I'm going to go into is not just how you market your tax firm during tax season to make sure it's successful, but how do you set yourself up to have a successful tax season beyond April, right? Because, you know, one thing we consistently teach is how do you build an advisory firm and how do you set yourself up to have business all year long? And a lot of accountants that we work with tend to only have business during tax season, right? Which we want to extend that from January to December. That is our core goal of what we're trying to do. So what does tax season allow us to do? During tax season, most customers are obviously coming to us to get their taxes done, right? Some of them have simple W-2 tax returns, right? Some of them have business returns, 1120s, whatever the case may be. Schedule C is the whole, the whole deal, right? So a lot of customers are coming to us during this time for a lot of different things. And a lot of the customers that we work with on the TPG side, you guys get a lot of referral business from people you've worked with in the past and people who are being referred to you and different things like that, right? And that's kind of how you've been able to grow and scale the business, not from a consistent marketing channel, but more from referrals, word of mouth, family members, different things like that, right? But if you're trying to build a business that you can scale from January to December, and sell them tax planning and different type of quarterly engagements and all those types of different things, you need to make sure you're bringing in the right type of client into the firm, which is extremely important. During tax season, tax season is really an amazing acquisition channel. And the reason I say that is because taxes is top of mind for every single cust or every single person who makes over $12,000 a year, right? Taxes are on their mind. They know they have to file taxes and get what they need to get done, right? But to the layman customer, they don't know the difference between tax compliance and tax planning, right? They have no clue, none at all. It's like when you go to a grocery store and they're giving you, giving you a free sample, right? Once you get that free sample and you taste it and try it, you're gonna want more of it, right? Or like how Netflix gives you a free trial to Netflix, right? then you wanna basically you know, subscribe to Netflix. Tax season is a way that customers get introduced to our advisory firm. A lot of people will find us online, will find us through referrals, different things like that. And what we tend to do is once they call our firm or we start speaking to clients, we qualify them to see if they would be a good candidate for tax planning down the line. And the way that we do that is we do that through a tax assessment, right? So, hey, Joe Smo, thank you for calling in. We definitely do, you know, simple W-2 tax returns, different things like that. But what we found is a lot of our clients end up overpaying on taxes. And what we tend to do is we do a free tax assessment so we can see where you've overspent on your taxes and we can see how we can minimize your tax liability if there's an opportunity to do so. Are you free for a 30-minute uh, call on Tuesday with one of our tax strategists? right so that's how we speak to clients and all we're doing is qualifying them if we feel as if there's an area of opportunity for us to tax plan with those type of clients then we absolutely begin the tax planning process and go down that line but that's one of the most important things that we have to do is make sure that a they're a good prospect and we could tax plan with them down the line obviously during tax season their situation is already set. There's maybe a few things that we could do, but not really, right? Their, their liability. But we're gonna work with them to plan forward to make sure they never have a situation like that again. And we can sell it as a package or different things like that, right? But we're turning away business where we feel as if we can't plan with them or they're not our ideal clients because we're looking for long-term revenue. And that's the way that we do that during tax season. So that's the first step, right? Tax season is a door to acquisition. Make sure you get the right type of client, which is gonna set yourself up for business from January all the way to December. The next thing is you wanna make sure during tax season, when you're thinking about marketing, you're top of mind. 
TurboTax and H&R Block spend a combined $400 million a year on media. And when I say media, that's Super Bowl commercials, that's the commercials that you see as soon as January 1st hits, you're seeing all their commercials, different things like that every on every channel. The reason that you're seeing that is because they're trying to do top of mind marketing. And what top of mind means is you wanna see something consistently so many times, so when you think about taxes, you think about them. It's the first instant thought on your mind. So obviously for a lot of our firms that we have, right, we don't have a million zillion dollars and different things like that. What can we do to stay top of mind with our customers? The way that we do that is through education, right? Through content and education, right? And education is the major keys to selling tax planning and to sell tax returns as well, because you're educating your customers on what is possible. Again, remember, 90% of customers don't even know that they can save money on taxes. So any type of education, you become the go-to resource for these type of clients, right? So one easy thing that you could do is email marketing, right? You can email your list three to five times a week with emails and basically just educating them on different subjects. So when they think about saving money on taxes during tax season, you're gonna be the first person they come to because 90% of accountants aren't doing this type of stuff. I, I promise you that, you know, so that's a major aspect. So we have number one down the door acquisition, how you guys need to make sure you clear up your business model. Two is content education, making sure that you're consistently on top of mind with your customers. And the next thing is basically taking on long-term clients, which what we talked about in the first, um, in the first pillar is when you're going through tax season, a lot of us get so caught up in the $300 tax preps and $400 because people are just coming to us and we're just a mercenary, right? We're just a body for hire. Oh, you need your tax to insure, you need your tax to insure, you need your tax to insure, right? And for you to build a long-term sustainable business, you have got to work with a certain type of client and they need to be able to fulfill your business model of advisory. They do not do that. You don't want to take them on because you're wasting your time. That's why you have a good tax season. You're worn out. And for the rest of the year, you're doing life insurance or you're working on little small projects and different things like that because you haven't built a sustainable business. That's the whole entire point. So you really want to make sure you take on long term clients that you feel as if you can work with on a yearly basis. Right. Because our planning fees start at minimum thirty five hundred. Right. Then you have implementation, which can be anywhere between a thousand to twenty five thousand. Then for preparation, right? You know, an individual return can go for eight fifty, right? And a business return based on complexity can start at fifteen hundred dollars, right? But you don't get to these price points unless you're working with the right type of clients, because you can build and sustain a long term business with those type of prices and different things like that. Okay. So obviously with tax season coming up, you wanna make sure you have these business models and things intact, which is gonna be extremely important for you to have a successful tax season, okay? Again, please make sure you guys like and subscribe to the video. It definitely helps with the algorithm. Um, it motivates me to create more videos for you guys and do what I need to do. So make sure you guys do that and I will see you on the next video. Take care.